So let's talk ice cream and how women run the world. Tiffany Chin here, your LA Realtor. Welcome back to this week's Small Business Spotlight. So we faced a pandemic, a movement towards social justice. We've really been persevering through quite a bit this year and local businesses of all kinds have been forced to get creative and pivot during these times. So we at Tiffany Chin Real Estate want to do our part in helping to give back to the community that has been so good to us. Uh, so we're featuring a different small business every Friday, and today's spotlight is a special treat, quite literally, <laughs> as I um, get to spotlight one of LA's original favorite food truck staples, a proud female business owner, and a way um, for ice cream to bring us together for social change. So please meet Mat Natasha Case of Cool House. Hi, Natasha. Hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Thanks so much for joining me on my show today. Um, it's quite an honor, I must say. Oh, the honor is mine, Tiffany. Oh, thanks. So, Natasha, I've had the pleasure of enjoying your ice cream, uh, most famously your Sammy's, which I believe a lot of people really love. And uh, we'd love to hear your story. Would you mind sharing with us? Of course. Um, so let's see, my background's design and architecture, actually. So just totally normal to go from architecture to ice cream, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, why not? But I, I think I really um, became interested in the idea of how to bring my um, passion for design um, and, and make it more fun and accessible. And I discovered the idea that led me to what I do today by accident, which is um, in one of my architecture studios, a professor of mine said my scale model looked like a layer cake. And I thought, why is that bad? So I baked the next iteration of the model as a cake. And oh, I had wow. so much fun doing that. I thought this is this is like my two passions coming together, food and design. And I just saw the way my colleagues responded, which is what what the magic of food. It brings us together. It's memorable. It's fun. And I fell in love with, you know, pursuing this idea. And I kind of kept this alive as like a passionate hobby all through um, college and, and grad school. Um, but I never thought of it as a business until I met my um, co-founder and now wife, Freya Streller. And uh, she really kind of helped me put numbers to it. And we really looked at kind of the, the open space in the ice cream category. Mm -hmm. And specifically, like you said, I mean, you know, being ice cream for social change, but even just being ice cream by creators that we felt represented us. You know, we didn't feel the brands represented us um, as, um, as women, as millennials, uh, as, as a gay couple, and Freya as a woman of color. Um, so we set out to be, be the brand we wanted to buy and we did it just, you know, we did it on a very tight budget. It was the recession and bought a beat up postal van for $2,500 and uh -huh. figured out that with AAA platinum, we could tow the truck, uh, 200 <laughs> miles. So we towed it to Coachella and that's where we launched. Oh my gosh. That's so fun. I love that <laughs> story. I really love that. So were you, uh, baking before as a hobby? You just always love to bake. Yeah, so we, um, uh, I, I really was not a, uh, had any formal training. I mean, I, I would, you know, cook really good meals for friends in college. And I would say it was a, it was a passionate hobby, but no formal baking, neither for Freya. Um, I think, I think I, we came, you know, we, we made the, the, the early creations ourselves. So we came to know enough about the process. And of course, I know even so much more now, but I consider myself more of an entrepreneur than, you know, a baker or a pastry chef by any means. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. Makes sense. So what is it that makes Cool House so special to your customers, do you think? I think, um, you know, one is that it feels very authentic in terms of the story being unique and, and having humble beginnings and really representing um, what, what the millennial generation expects to see from a brand. Transparency, right. that authenticity, the trust, the uniqueness, the way the brand responds to pop culture moments. Um, the way that it's designed to look unlike anything else. And, and we really try to rethink everything we do from the packaging to, you know, no one really is elevating novelties the way we are, like you said about the Sammies. And now we're coming out with cones. We have mini cups and we're looking at bonbons. So we think about everything as, as a way to make change and a way to make change that really represents, you know, um, us and a very inclusive audience. I love that. All right. And what is, uh, what are your offerings right now on your menu? Is it quite a long list or? Yeah, I mean, mainly so the products that you could find that are our biggest items that you could mm -hmm. find in grocery or now from our shop are, uh, in L.A. or our cloud kitchens in L.A. that are on Postmates, Uber Eats, um, you know, Grubhub, Caviar and DoorDash would be our pints, our dairy pints, 
uh, in flavors like street cart churro dough and bananas foster and mm -hmm. just so many delicious strawberry cheesecake. Our Queen's coffee is phenomenal. Our dairy sandwiches, the larger ones that we're famous for, we now have multi-pack half size sandwiches that are in three flavors, chocolate chip vanilla, double chocolate vanilla, and um, double chocolate coffee, which is my personal favorite. Dairy-free sandwiches, my favorite dairy-free sandwich is the horchata. Dairy-free pints, uh, peanut butter fudge chip, my favorite. And then we have dairy-free mini cups, and um, that's it for now. We're just working on those cones. I love that you just light up as you're, uh, you know, running through all these different flavors. <laughs> Ice cream, you, you have know. have passion for it, which is important. Yes. I love that. Yes. All right. So um, tell me, so I love supporting uh, female business owners. What Thank is you. your take on, you know, why it's important that we do so? You know, I think if we really want to have um, the best products and the best companies with uh, culture that can really – you know, evolve and, and progress what we're doing as, as a country, as a society, we have to have diverse leadership and we have to uh, celebrate different perspectives. And right now there's, it's just, there's so much inequality. Um, women founders and um, especially women of color founders, if you look at the numbers of the capital raised, um, it's just astounding. Yet women entrepreneurs create twice the amount of money with the capital they do raise. So we know we, we, we ask for way less and we do more with it. It's just, I, I mean, I see you smiling because we know it's true. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> so, so um, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the way to change this is to talk about it and have support and support one another. And it's not just about, it's about women supporting women, but about men supporting women too. You know, it's there. We're all, we're all, we're each half the population. Let's work together yes. to make this change happen. And, if we make a lot of change for our generation, the next generation can take it even farther. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking of change, with everything going on in the U.S. and the world, um, what social movements are important to you and how are you using Cool House as a platform for that change? I think social mission is so important and I think it has to, like, again, be, be authentic. You know, think about... Right. We think about what what are what does our brand stand for? Where can we best help make this change? And right. you know, entrepreneurship and, and women leadership is is huge for us. Um, and and you know, Freya also as you know, we have a, a person of, of color founder, um, right. and so um, we really connected with. Let's lift up. Um, you know, we we got involved with um, Black Girl Ventures, which is amazing. Black and brown women of color um, founders incubator. And mm -hmm. um, they help fund the businesses through pitch competitions. And it's just an amazing community led by an amazing CEO, Shelly Bell. And, um, you know, I've been doing webinars for them. We're going to be, we're going to create three pints for them. And they're going to pitch themselves to try to <laughs> raise money. And the winning pint will then become a grant for an, uh, one of their founders. And then we'll right. bring that flavor to our shop. And all of that money will become a grant for another founder and I have um, working on hopefully someone to match that grant. And yeah. um, this is a way that, you know, we can, you know, raise, raise dollars and help and help get these other business started and funded. And I'm also working on some things with backstage capital, which is also a um, LGBTQ uh, women or person of color uh, investment fund. They, they invest with founders um, who have that background and we're, we're working on some partnerships with them as well. Also involving making ice cream. I mean, ice cream is, is, you know, what we do best. So however we can use the product to stand for something more is great. Oh my gosh. I love that. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yes. All right. So now the most, and the Oprah, question. Oh, can I mention one more? We have oh, one yeah, more. Of course. Cause this is also a great local one. If you buy a flavor that we created for pride month called enjoyment for all, which is a delicious, it's like a mint, Oreo cookie marshmallow pint. So um, all of the proceeds that we sell from the shop will go to the Okra Project, uh, which is um, they bring uh, fresh meals to black trans people. Um, and um, it's a really cool organization based on the East Coast. Um, so you can order on Postmates and feel good about eating your ice cream. <laughs> oh, good. I'll totally do that. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now the most important question for those who can't wait to get their hands on some cool house for Friday and the weekend, what's the best way for them to place an order? Uh, so if you're local to LA, which it, it seems like a lot of, a lot of this audience is, which is always makes it easier since this is our birthplace. Um, getting anything from our shop, uh, uh, as I was saying, all the services, Postmates, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Caviar, Grubhub, 
And then um, grocery stores, Whole Foods has probably the biggest selection, but also Bristol Farms, Gelson's, Ralph's, um, uh, Amazon Fresh, Yummy.com. Uh, you know, we have a lot of market partners around here, right. so it's pretty easy to find. But Whole, Whole Foods is the biggest selection. Okay. Oh, someone just said uh, they're in NorCal. NorCal. You can get also <laughs> everyone I mentioned, but also Safeway. Safeway uh -huh. up there. Um, so also Whole Foods, um, mm -hmm. Rayleigh's. Um, those are would be some of our biggest. Yeah, but Whole right. Foods too. Yeah. Right, right. No, Whole, Whole Foods is everywhere. You're talking about Safeway and Rayleigh's. I'm from Northern California ah. originally. So I'm like, oh, yeah, that yeah. is what the yeah. grocery stores are called. <laughs> those old <old> places. <laughs> All right, Natasha, Natasha, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And we're really pulling for a cool house to continue to thrive. Thank you is so there, much for having me. Of course. Is there anything else you want to add before we log off here? Uh, you want to know more? Check us out at Cool House on any social network platform. Uh, you know, as, as that's the handle I'm on uh, there. I'm Natasha J. Case. And then the website is cool.house, no.com, just dot H-A-U-S. Okay, awesome. And we'll add it in the description as we post. Oh, great. They'll be all great. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Natasha. you. Have a Have wonderful a... weekend. You too. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.